when he was first diagnosed, when he came forward as a junior, you know, we had to decide then, you know, are we going to hide it because of the stigma? And so it was. Their story became public knowledge. Jeff Olson, the head coach of the Ishpeming Hematites. Daniel Olson, his son, the star quarterback, intertwined forever by more than familial ties. And then when he did um, complete suicide, you know, do you hide that? The answer was a resounding no. Daniel's battle with depression has been carried forward on a larger front. It's healing. You know, it helps us grieve and it helps us heal knowing that we're, we're helping people. So now let's, um, let's educate people and let's treat people that suffer from some, tor some type of medical mental illness. Here we go. This is it. Ishpeming needs the two-point conversion to tie the game. In 2011, Olsen's hematites came up just short in the state championship game. And it's going to be batted away. And Hudson will win their first ever state championship. A year later, Daniel took his own life. Now his story is being turned into a documentary with Olsen's sister, Jamie, doing the narration. Yeah, narrating it, definitely, it's helped me more than anything else because um, it's like I get to tell my brother's story, so I feel a lot closer to the whole situation, I guess. The producers of the documentary, in town for the big premiere, were also close to the situation. The reason why we decided to do this movie in the first place is because our daughter was diagnosed in 2011. And when we sat down with Coach and Sally at the McDonald's to meet them for the first time, they poured out their hearts about their son, and we poured out our hearts about our daughter. Basically, our hope for this documentary is that people will be able to watch this and use it as a tool to start a dialogue about depression, anxiety, and suicide. But the release is just the beginning. Hopefully some big name will pick it up, show it in large market areas, and then we want to get it at every high school in, uh, in the country. Educating, distorting the stigma, confronting the issue head on. His family is doing it for Daniel, hoping Daniel's story will do it for the world. The Hematites would go on to win three of the next four state championship games. Of course, that's secondary to the main story here. Jeff Holson and his family uh, trying to raise enough money to spruce up the documentary and get it pushed through high schools across the country. Uh, for info on how to do that, you have the Do It For Daniel Facebook page and, of course, doitfordaniel.com. For ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Charlie Edward.